This is the last video of 2016. I am so excited to say this because I've completed one year on YouTube and I'm so close to 10,000 subs. Um, I don't know if I already reached 10,000 subs because you know I'm really only I think 12 subs away but I'm really excited and I thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Um, all of you who have just been with me through the start for my first video till now Thank you so much for your patience and your love and constant support um, and your kind words that has just been ringing in my head all through the year. Um, I read all your comments and I do this for you and for me, both of us. Um, I'm just, I'm sort of speechless because I really don't know how to thank you guys. In 2017, I want to give back way more than I did in 2016 since it was my first year. I was so new to YouTube. Uh, I still am in fact, but I really, really want to do so much for you guys in this year. I want to show you guys how much you mean to me. You literally mean the world to me. Without you, I would not be here today. Thank you for understanding my passion for beauty and everything that surrounds it. I wish in 2017 we both grow together and I just want to spread love and kindness and happiness um, everywhere, all around and no hate anywhere because this world has been through enough this year and before. Um, um, so yeah, thank you so much for creating this world for me, for creating this world and just being with me every step of the way. Um, again, I would not be here without you guys. So thank you for your constant love. I love you so much. For this video, I'm going to do this makeup tutorial right here. Um, I did a very bold and dramatic makeup tutorial um, in my last video and I really, really wanted to do a very simple nude but glowy makeup tutorial um this is my personal favorite look um so yeah if you guys want to know how to get this look please keep on watching so first i'm gonna go in with my moisturizer you guys know it's the pack moisturizer obviously love this i'm gonna try and keep this tutorial really short for primer i'm gonna go in with the pore filler primer by nyx I'm going to try and use a lot of drugstore products. I'm going to try uh, whatever I have with me. I'm going to use those uh, for foundation. It's the Fit Me and the L'Oreal. I'm going to use very tiny amounts. You can use whatever foundation you have lying at home. For concealer, I'm using my MAC concealer, but I'm going to show you a dupe. This is the Miss Claire concealer in beige number 4. And this is a really good drugstore concealer to use. So if you find that in the market, definitely pick it up. I'm using my Fit Me concealer. Now this is a drugstore concealer, so really good. Go here. For powder, I'm taking uh, my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, you can take whatever face powder you have and you want to set your under eye and your face. Moving on to my brows, I'm taking my Miss Claire uh, brow pencil in dark brown 02. This has the brush side, so I'm just going to comb it. I saw a lot of your DMs and suggestions and tags and I really liked um, all of the looks. Uh, so I just sort of combined every look and I sort of created this 
look in my head so um everybody gets credit here not one particular person because there were tons of pictures that i saw on my dm and i just sort of um got an idea of what exactly i wanted to do um so i'm taking burnt orange right here um a dupe for burnt orange would be any of these pack eyeshadows these orange ones i'm going to leave um the names below but the closest to burnt orange is so the closest you can find to burnt orange is pack P15. Um it's a little brighter, I know, but this is the closest um drugstore eyeshadow that I can show you that I have. Um so definitely go for P15 over here. To add some more warmth, I'm taking the color Realgar. This is a very dark burnt orange. Um and a dupe for that would be the pack P55. It has a little bit of shimmer in it and this is matte, but this is the closest you'll find. And I'm taking Realgar over here. For my lid color, I'm going to take the pack eyeshadow itself. Um I'm leaning towards this color right here, the pack P19. I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is the NYX brush in number 17. I'm going to take the brush uh, number 10 by NYX again. It's a flat brush. It's very tapered. I'm taking the same eyeshadow that I took on my lid and I'm just going to make this a little glamorous by putting it underneath just on the inner corner. I'm going to go in with Primavera by um the Modern Renaissance and I'm just going to intensify the pack eyeshadow down below. To smoke out my lower lash line, I'm taking the same two colors and I'm just going to smoke it out. That is burnt orange and real gar right here. So you can definitely go in with any drugstore eyeshadow you have uh, like the pack ones. So any product that is, you know, um high end, I'm going to show you dupes for it so you can, you know, mix and match and then use whatever you like and whatever you have at home. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Nudes palette. Ah, uh, I have missed you. I haven't used this in a while. I'm taking this shadow right here. and i'm just going to buff that on the outer corners for mascara you can use whatever mascara you have i'm taking my hyper curl the best drugstore mascara according to me and i'm just going to pop that on my lashes i put some lashes on these are the euro paris lashes in 61 Let's move on to face. I'm going to contour using the Savannah color blush palette and I'm taking the contour shade right here. And I'm taking my Sephora brush in To bronze up my entire face, I am taking the Lakme Absolute Sun Kissed Bronzer. Amazing, amazing bronzer, guys! You have to get this. Um, it's for seven hundred and twenty-five rupees, and I'm taking my big brush, Sephora brush in sixty-one. This is the powder brush, and I'm just going to bronze up my entire face using this.
for blush I'm taking the Savannah colors again and I'm gonna take this color right here these two actually just gonna pop that I'm just going to put some fix plus on my face so that all the powder melts and it looks dewy to glow the entire night obviously we're gonna have some highlighters because it's New Year's Eve I'm taking this champagne color right here since we have champagne going on in my eyes I'm gonna go in with my in color by blush symphony and I'm taking this peachy um, sort of a corally highlighter it's a very beautiful it's the first highlighter I ever bought from in color and for lips I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty lip liner in trendsetter a good dupe for this is the pack lip liner in natural this comes really close to trendsetter So this is in the color natural. Uh, I'm going to take the Hura Beauty lip contour and line my lips. For lipstick, I'm taking Taupe Thrill by Nykaa. This is their Nykaa matte lip. I'm sorry about the background noise. I don't know what the hell is happening. This is a really, really beautiful nude just by itself. Um, you get this on Nykaa, obviously. But I'm going to top it off using Airplane Mode by Colourpop. It's a new packaging. It's frosty. It's a beautiful, peachy, corally nude colour. I think nude is the best color to go for on New Year's Eve simply because um, you know when you're drinking, you're eating, anything you're doing, it's not gonna look that evident. For bold colors, it can look like it's stripped off, but a nude lip will always, always keep you looking good. I'm going to finish off this makeup look using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. You definitely need a setting spray for your New Year's. You don't want your makeup to budge or move. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and through this entire journey. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to me. Please, I would so appreciate it. And I just want to thank you again for joining me. I love you so much. Every one of you sitting right there. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you in 2017. Oh my God. I love you.